Uh, so, had a great season, obviously, gold medal. Um, that show was <laughs> extremely challenging in many aspects. Um, yeah. Maybe not physically. At least it didn't look so. Maybe it was. But just from, like, I know Mike Jackson does so much nuance in his writing from a spatial demand and, like, metric demand. Um, like the whole role at the end of the show that's just like a giant uh, Dicella Rondo where everybody's just got to feel it the same way. <laughs> that thing was the pain of our existence. <laughs> oh, I know. We, <laughs> Early on, I was like, man, I hope they get was, this because that'd be yeah, cool. There was a risk. CPA finals. We won SCPA finals, but the role tore. <laughs> <That'd be laughs> like the last thing we do. I was scared for my life because I didn't want the last thing I play in my marching to career, career to be like this terrible uh, decelerating role. Um, but and, and like all of finals week while we were in Ohio, like that was like the only thing we worked on all like the entire time. Um, but like and, and and prelims, it was bad. It was bad prelims. Everything else was good prelims, but the the role was bad um, and. So just suddenly, like, sem- Semi's morning, I think, it, like, was suddenly good. And then it was just good the rest of the season. So, I mean, thanks. the finals week pixie dust. It's real <laughs> it's magic. magic. Rhythm X has banked on that for maybe its entire <laughs> existence, I swear. Yeah. It's the I don't finals know about now, fairy dust. There was about a decade there where it was like, well, we'll get clean finals week, guys. It'll just happen. We don't know how, but it will. Dude, we were terrible in 2012 until finals week. Yep. Some of that I'll blame on the weather. Like you guys down there in SoCal get to drum outside all year. That, we're like, I mean, that was that was a completely new experience for me, though. Like you know, having being in Minnesota winters for four years, and suddenly you know, it's like we're drumming outside every weekend, like this drum corps. Or like it, 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 it's definitely an advantage uh, oh, for hear. those those SoCal cats. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So obviously, capped off your AJL and. The best way possible. Not that it wouldn't have been great if it hadn't finished in a gold medal, but cherry on top, it was. Um, what was that show about to you? I won't say. I won't. I won't even say. Yeah. What was it actually about? But what was it about to you? <laughs> so the 2009 Broken City Seed, right? C E D E. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I mean, literally, the the word seed means to to give up or to or to surrender to let you win right and and that was the kind of main adam watts song that the 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 show was uh driven by was it's called let you win um and um i i i always hesitate like i i've been asked this question a lot like what the hell was the show about (laughs) um and i i always kind of hesitate to like give my interpretation of the show um just because i don't want to taint other people's interpretation of the show you know like like that that's as we were talking about the whole season that's like mike jackson's deep you know philosophy about about it it's it's that it's just a nuanced uh piece of art that is meant to be interpreted in 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 your own way you know and and like, like there is kind of an intellectual storyline that that drove him to um, design things and, and do things certain ways. Um, but you know, as viewers, we're supposed to um, just take things as they are, latch on to what we do, latch on to, and you digest it in a different way. Everyone does, right? Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, loosely to me the show was just about um making sacrifices giving up a part of yourself for this for the betterment of people you love so that the people you love can win essentially um and there are a lot of like really subtle hints to kind of that uh theme throughout the show like the 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 real like literal driver of a lot of the show is is a uh, parent parents to child relationship so you'll you'll hear a lot of uh you'll hear and see a lot of motifs with like uh of 
threes, like two and one. So like in the snare feature, there's this, just this part where we're all facing back field playing groups of two and one at the edge of the snare drum and like repeatedly over and over again while we're, we're facing back field. Um, and that's, that's kind of the, the nod to that. You'll also see in the drill that like a lot of people, a lot of times you'll see groups of two and one, like standing up and everybody else is on me, stuff like that. Um, little, just little nods to that threes theme, you, you know, at the end, we also, you know, we raise the white flag, like we're surrendering, um, and the props too. It's like a, a group of three, um, towers in, in, in the back corner. So, um, yeah, I guess I guess to me, loosely, it, the show is about um, giving up a part of yourself, surrendering, so that someone you love can win. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, it's very, sweet. Very big, well, big, very very philosophical, very um, abstract. Yeah, and a very abstract. It, you know, uh, it's not for everybody, right? Like a lot of people are resistant to those kind of um, not at all literal very abstract philosophical shows um and we didn't play very much which is which a lot of people don't really like but um uh we may or may I, not have brought I, that sometimes up on less podcast. is more but <laughs> <laughs> well yeah i mean i mean you have to understand like, like one word that i that like came up in the tapes a couple times at least that i think sums it up nicely is is refreshing Right, like you think about what WF Finals Week is, it's just like nonstop drumming and noise that these judges are are sitting there listening to, you know, for literally, literally hours yeah. every day for three days straight. And then for us to come out there at the end and to do the literal exact opposite um, is is polarizing um, and could could have blown up in our face, but it was it almost didn't. like it was a palate cleanser. Right. Like, and like, like you think of like, um, from a design standpoint to like a lot of shows are really dark. Right. But then every once in a while there's like, you know, I think of pulse does some shows like this to, um, infinity. They win fan the favorite every year. Shows or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, like those shows tend to go over well. Um, Maybe not competitively all the time, but but just in general from fans because they're different in that sense, right? And and yeah. I think this was kind of that way, um, just in a different sense. Dark is easy to do. So. Yeah, I mean, right. And 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 you could argue that playing a lot of notes and doing a dark show, uh, yeah, like playing a lot of notes, like everybody can do that. Everybody in the top fifteen can play a ton of notes, well, right, and and just ram notes, but not everybody can play with space like broken city has over the past couple of years that that, that that's kind of where my, my head is at uh, on that on that subject it's it's funny you use the word refreshing because you almost took the words right out of my mouth like i was going to speak up and just put in that loud angry aggressive is basically the norm for indoor drum line like i mean mm -hmm. drums are an aggressive physical instrument like they're loud yeah. they're in your face it's very hard to do the tasteful thing and that's the, the I've not always been a fan, admittedly, of some of the things Broken City has done, but I have no, always and, acknowledged, and fair. yeah, and but I've always acknowledged that that like it's just different, it's its own yeah. thing, and, and it's not surprising at all knowing that Mike Jackson has a big hand in that. That's the kind of thing he's doing, because if you look at what he's doing at Blue Nights, it's kind of, or was doing at Blue Nights, like it's yeah. kind of the same thing, different, um, but not in a bad way. Refreshing really is one of the best ways and simplest ways to put it, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep, and, and and refreshing has a posit positive connotation to it, but like it, it it definitely isn't for everybody, and and that's okay. You know, like Broken City isn't gonna be everybody's favorite group in the world. Um, you don't have but to be. That's not what. That's not what they're they as an organization. Uh, seek to do like they, they're not looking to be people's favorites they're just wanting to create art that is meaningful to them and to the members and um if people like it great and but you know some people don't and that's okay to me i think if they can find a sweet spot and this is all personal preference obviously 
the people in charge over there know exactly what they're doing, extremely smart, talented, experienced. But if they could find a meshing, because I was raised on the cadets, that aggressive, like, my first summer was for Tom Monks. Like, that's why I went to march for him at Blue Stars when he went there. And But it, I feel like if they could find a balance between having that level of density in spots, you know, use yeah. use that space and nuance tastefully, but then also have segments where like, and, and there are notier segments of Broken City shows over the past couple of years, but as a fan, I would want to see a little more of that. Still keep the refreshing elements that you guys are so good at, but then yeah. also bring the element of, uh, not the word traditional, traditional is the wrong word, but like the that element of the ram. Just, the ram, yeah. Have a few more moments where, like, all right, we can do this thing. We can also do this thing and do it way better than you two. Yeah, and 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 that's to- that's totally fair. And I can tell you, truthfully, as a member, as a performer, it's way more fun to play more notes than less, right? Oh yeah. Uh, so no, that yeah, that's that's totally a fair point of view, for sure. 